Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna find out how you can upgrade your Tel Latitude 7320 or what you actually can upgrade on it and obviously you're gonna see how you can open it up and what's happening inside of it as well. First things first you need a little standard Phillips screwdriver. I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you are looking for a very same one. It's 57 in one so it's it's gonna be useful for other little jobs as well. Remove all the screws from the back panel, as I say, remove them, just loosen them because they don't come out, which is handy, you're never going to lose one. I'm removing this little thing on the left hand side, you can leave it in, I'm kind of used to with older laptops, you have to remove them in order to lift the back panel. So that's it, you're ready to remove the back panel. I'm using a little plastic tool there, if you don't have one, use your fingers, nails don't use anything metal you will damage your laptop uh, and you, as you see it comes off quite handy so took me less than 30 seconds maybe this laptop was open before and that's the reason why it came off easy okay that's the look uh, on the back panel inside and that's how it looks now uh, bad news obviously ram is not upgradable so whatever you have there you're stuck with it that's your battery we're gonna have a closer look anyway in, in a second, so I'm just going over a few bits here. That's the CPU fan. That's the CPU heat sink and under that is CPU itself. This one has uh, 11 generation Core i7 and that's your solid state drive there. At the moment there's a 256 gigs. We're gonna upgrade the, that to one terabyte in a few minutes. That's a closer look now on the battery. Just in case if you're looking for a spare part, it's gonna be handy. Get your serial number from here. That's your battery connection. That's your CPU fan. And the heatsink and the CPU under that. CPU is, is not upgradable either. That's your solid state drive. More bad news. RAM is not upgradable. And if anything happens to your Wi-Fi card, it's, it's soldered to motherboard as well. So you can't remove the Wi-Fi card either. So good old days are gone where you could change these pits on the laptop so that's the bad news for you so we only have really one good news here which is your solid state drive before you start upgrading uh, i do recommend disconnecting battery you just lift that connection there it's more for safety any than anything else and as you see to remove the solid state drive you have to use a little smaller screwdriver there I just changed the bit there just a little look on the screw itself leave it somewhere safe don't lose it okay there's two of them sorry got a little excited there okay you can lift the little heatsink now And as you see, there's a kind of a smaller factor solid state drive in it. We don't need that bit later because I'm going to install longer solid state drive in it. I'm, I'm just going to show you what's in it at the moment. As I said, there's 256 gigs. They're good drives actually, can't complain. Just uh, probably not enough space, that's all. And by the way, when you are upgrading your solid state drive, uh, you do have to reinstall Windows again. So that's the closer look now on the solid state drive. Also, I'm going to leave the link in the description for this one. You can probably, not probably, most likely you get way better ones at this stage now. So, but I'm using this and uh, I'm going to leave the link maybe for some newer ones as well, if you're interested. That's the closer look now on the solid state drive itself. There you go, that little heatsink will go back in. And the little plastic thingy that was there, just the extension for the smaller one, you can leave that just to, don't throw it out, maybe God knows you might need it in the future. That's it. Close your two screws there again. And one thing now, before you're gonna put the back panel 
pack again, I do recommend connecting battery. It happened to me way too many times where I got to go, oh, yeah, upgrading done, close the laptop, and then you realize, damn, your battery is not connected. So do, do, do definitely do that. So as I said, one good news, you can upgrade solid state drive, you can't upgrade CPU, you can't upgrade RAM, you can't upgrade Wi-Fi card, so that seems to be the future with laptops anyway. That's it, close your back panel, kind of press it gently, you can hear the little clicks there. Yeah. And probably not the greatest idea to use too much force either. So that's it, change a bit again and close the back panel. In a minute I'm gonna boot to Windows, so we're gonna see the specs of this laptop as well. Just a short little 30 second boot and uh, that's it. Oh, oh, oh. And as I said before, you will have to reinstall Windows before you can use your laptop again if you swap your solid state drive. Okay, that's it, we're on desktop now. I'm gonna go just briefly over a few specs here. Go to this PC now that you see one terabyte sitting there. Right click, go to properties. Yep, that's it. The latitude 7320, 11th generation i7, as you see, and 16 gigs of RAM. I suppose if you have 8 gigs, you're stuck with it. I'm lucky enough here, 16 gigs. I'm gonna go to device manager now just to go over it again. So, as I said, it is upgradable, just a small bit. Good laptops, fast, small. Light, reasonably light, I suppose. That's your solid state drive there now, the one I installed, and your display adapter. I'll show you the CPU there now as well. So, and that's about it. Uh, hopefully, this was now helpful for you who will look in what you can, what you can't upgrade, and how maybe how does it look actually inside. So, if you if you found the video helpful, subscribe. Bye bye.